I'm Jacob Bellotti and I'm here to answer IMDb's Take 5. Right now I'm filming a new HBO show called Euphoria with Zendaya, but you guys might know me from The Kissing Booth. You, know, you have zero experience with guys. You've never even had a boyfriend. Whatever. I am a 2018 IMDb Star Meter recipient. Award? Award recipient? <laughs> Award recipient in the breakout category. My dream co-star definitely would be Heath Ledger. That would just be amazing. Why don't you just let me be, huh? There's been a lot of times in Hollywood where I've kind of wanted to throw in the towel and then I've sort of watched something that he's said or, or sort of watched his journey and it's made me feel pretty good. Uh, have a seat, man. I want to talk to you about something. It was The Dark Knight. I was probably 12 years old, I think, when it came out and I went and saw the film with my dad and I just freaked out. Let's not blow this out of proportion. So I think he just kind of like Australian to Australian makes me feel like movies are like something really, really special. <laughs> the show that I last binge watched was Maniac on Netflix. I'd like you to tell me about this project. Because I don't watch a lot of television. I usually, I just watch movies, but that was the one that I literally sat there and just watched it start to finish. All you have to do is give an honest account of your experience. Visually, it was stunning. The performances were incredible and the stories were just like wacky, zany, of another world, I would say. Um, rom-com. 10 things, 10 things I hate about you. Again, to stick to the ongoing theme. Now there's a way to get a guy's attention, huh? That I'm like a super fan. <laughs> Only so we can have these moments together. Probably because it's based on a Shakespeare, so it's very grounded. And a lot of the things that are cliche in it, they're the original cliches. Like, that was the first time they happened. I know Shakespeare's a dead white guy, but he knows the <laughs> so we can overlook that. The paintball scene is like probably my favorite scene. That's probably my, one of my favorite romantic scenes in any film ever. I think it's just beautiful. Easy. Um, supernatural. There will always be more people that need saving, no matter how many monsters we kill. Someone gave me, told me about that show when I was in grade six. I've watched 12 seasons of Supernatural. I'm not completely up to date. You're okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. So I collected their toys and their cars and I had the box set. Ian, I can explain what was going on. No, no, no. no. You'd catch me at a Supernatural convention, definitely. Yeah, about that. It's just like crazy. My go-to is Nightmare Before Christmas. What is this? It's probably pushing like a hundred times. I've seen that. I know all the words. It starts in songs like dun 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 dun. Boys and girls of every age. You know that song they start singing? <laughs> Just me? Okay. Everything about it is just wonderful and, and scary, but also just, it's like a very satisfying film to watch, I think. That was my take five. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys all look out for me on Euphoria next year. Cheers.